And before this video starts, guys, we're hosting a giveaway for two lifetime SynapseX keys. Now, SynapseX is one of the best paid executors out there. So if you do want a chance to win, of course, just head down into the description below where you'll find a link to our Discord server. Once you do join the Discord server, head over to the verified channel. Once you're into the verified channel, go ahead and click on this button right here, which says click to verify, and that will give you the verified role. Then you can head down into the giveaways channel and you'll see the two giveaways right here. Now, of course, if you're subscribed to the channel, you will be able to enter the bottom giveaway right here. But if you do want to increase your chances of winning, then you can boost the server. So if you do have Nitro, you can simply boost the server. And of course, you will be able to enter the giveaway on top as well. So good luck to everyone that does enter the giveaway. Now, let's get back into the video. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the kernel executor. I will be showing you how to set it up and install it. Um, and of course, I will also mention all of the common errors that a lot of people experience. I get a lot of messages um, pretty much daily of people mentioning certain errors and asking me how to fix those. So I will explain everything in this video. So make sure you watch to the very end. Um, now, as always, this only works on Windows 10 and 11 so make sure you're on windows 10 or 11 if you're trying to use this executor the very first thing that you will do is you want to come down into the windows key option right here uh, or the windows startup menu over here and if you're on windows 10 then it will be in this corner right here so go ahead and click on that and type in virus and threat protection just like that go ahead and open it up go into manage settings and make sure you have your real-time protection turned off uh, if it's on then just click off it will give you a menu and just click yes on that you will be able to turn this on in a bit uh, but for now just make sure it's off otherwise you will not be able to set up the executor properly okay this is not a virus i can assure you that there's a lot of people using it it's a very it's pretty much you know a, one of the best free executors out there okay so it's definitely not a virus you don't have to worry about that okay if you still don't want to take the risk then that's completely up to you um but I've used it for many, many years and I've never had any problems with that at all. Um, so go ahead and turn off real-time protection and run the kernel bootstrapper, which you will find a link to down in the description below. So you'll find the download link for that. Go ahead and open that up. Make sure your real-time protection is off and it will start downloading the files just like this. Um, if it gives you an error, it's, it's going to be like a VPN error. It will ask you to use a VPN. If you get something like that, then you can try out VPNs. Uh, which pretty much just give you a different sort of location uh, and that will allow you to download the executor again you can also use mobile hotspot uh, which is an easier alternative so if you do have some you know some sort of uh, a phone where you can turn on the hotspot try using that uh, and it should allow you to download it if you don't have any internet restrictions uh, otherwise you will need a vpn so one of the vpns that i would personally recommend would be cyber ghost it is a paid vpn but you can actually get a free trial uh, so it will be a one day trial you don't need to put any of your card details in or anything you will get to use it for one day um, so that's pretty much all you need um, you just need the one day trial to be able to set this up so once you do have the uh, the actual program installed and you have kernel opened if it if you're getting the VPN error then make sure you turn on the VPN first then open up the bootstrapper and it should allow you to download the folder once you do have this uh, pretty much set up then go ahead and close out of everything go into your virus and threat protection again scroll down until you see add or remove exclusions go ahead and click on add an exclusion and choose folder go ahead and go to the downloaded location so if it's in your downloads folder you know go in here if it's in your desktop then click on desktop and you want to find the folder called kernel so this is my kernel folder right here so you just want to go ahead and single click on it make sure you don't double click that will open up the folder so make sure you just single click and it's just highlighted so you can see it's highlighted right now and you click on select folder that will add the folder into your exclusions so let's make sure it's here so you can see it's pretty much saved the the folder into the exclusions and that basically allows your antivirus to be turned on without bothering the kernel executor uh, so i can turn this on and now i will still be able to go into my kernel folder and launch the kernel uh, .exe. If you don't turn off your real-time protection, then the kernel.exe will get deleted. Now, uh, talking about some of the common errors that you might get with, of course, kernel. One of them is the VPN error that we just covered. Uh, the second one being uh, the 268 error, I think it's called. Uh, and that's pretty much as soon as you go into any game, even if you don't inject, it will kick you out instantly and it will say, 
uh, something unexpected or unexpected behavior or something like that. If you do get that error, then you need to simply wait one hour. Uh, to be safe, just wait two hours if it's not working within one hour and then you will be able to get back into the game. It's pretty much just like a soft ban. Uh, it's like a hard variety ban for one hour. It's not your account, it's just your computer uh, for one hour and then you'll be able to get back into the game. So just wait an hour and then you'll be able to inject again and everything will be fine. Um, another error that you might get is like a fatal error. It's not really common with kernel, but if you do see something that says fatal error, when you try executing a script that simply means that that script is not and uh, that script is pretty much not supported by kernel so what you need to do is you need to re-download another script and try executing another script okay um what else uh if you get something uh along the lines of missing dll's then what you can do is reopen the bootstrapper and that will go ahead and um pretty much install all of the missing files you can also go in here and you can click on install missing files uh, of course you've got auto attach on which i would recommend using um which pretty much just automatically injects into the game or you don't have to press inject yourself uh, topmost is not really you know it's just preference based so if you have topmost on you can actually move other applications over kernel uh, and the kernel will still stay on top um so if i turn it off and i do this now you can see kernels in the background uh, but if i turn this on then you can see that kind of stays um, to the top. This is the fade effect. So if I turn this off and I click somewhere else, kernel doesn't fade away. But if I do turn that on, then kernel does fade away when I click somewhere else. Remove crash logs again. Don't really worry about any of those things. Um, this is where you paste your script. You can also go into games. Uh, okay, that's been disabled. Hot scripts. So these are just these are pretty much just universal scripts. They're more to do with scripting. Um, you do have an unnamed ESP, so this is like a universal ESP that might work in multiple games. Um, but what you want to do is just grab your own script. You can find them on my channel. Go ahead and paste them in here. Click on execute. Um, before you click execute, you do need to inject. If you do have auto attach on, then you don't need to click in inject. Uh, and then it will take you to link vertize. You need to get the key from there. Uh, it only takes around two minutes. Uh, and then you'll be able to inject into the game. And of course, use the executor, okay? Uh, again, Kernel is one of the best free executors out there. Uh, I would definitely recommend using it if you don't have a executor already. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. If you do have any questions, uh, then simply go ahead and join the Discord server that will be in the description. Uh, and you can simply ask for support there. Uh, or you can leave a comment down in, uh, down below and I will try responding to as many of you as possible. Uh, a lot of times, people ask a lot of the questions that have already been answered in the video. So it, it does get kind of annoying. So make sure you watch the video to the very end first. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, is, this is pretty much the end. But in case you have skipped to the end and you're experiencing an error, just go back and watch the video to the very end. And if you still have any questions, then you can ask those down below. Uh, and yeah, hopefully you did enjoy the video, guys. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.